everyone welcome you all for this series on power bi hope you all doing great well in this particular video i'm going to show you how to create a column chart start column chart and also a clustered column chart it's pretty simple and it's exciting as well so let's say for example i want to create a column chart so what i do is i just go to a, a start column chart just select this this column chart basically gives you the vertical bars and it represents whichever bar is like, you know, high, whichever bar has a highest length that basically represents that particular category is giving like a higher stage, something like that. Okay, even these column charts are basically used to analyze uh, a categorical column with a numerical column. So let's say if I want to know which subcategory or, you know, which subcategory is giving the higher stage. So what I can do, just select your subcategory and select a stage. So it just gives you the bars based on the length of a bar. You can determine which particular subcategory is giving the higher seeds. You can see here, Coons is giving higher seeds and Fasteners is giving very less seeds. You can also format this. Just go to a format option. You have an option like x-axis formatting. You can just increase the size of x-axis values. Similarly, you can change color. You can give whatever color you want. And you can also increase the title of x-axis. Go to a title and increase the size of the title that is a subcategory make it bold you can also change the color whatever color you want you can just give the same changes you can do it even with a y-axis just increase the size of you know y-axis values and then just increase the font of the title of y-axis i hope it's getting yeah just change your color and just go down and go to a title I'll just increase the font of a title that is some of scenes. Let me make it bold and let me just change the color of it. Yeah, all right, done with this. I'll go to a general and I'll change the uh, title. Title font should be changed. So I'll just increase the font. Okay, I'll make it bold. You can change color and you can make a central alignment and also you can give a background color, whatever you want. Okay, this is how you format a column chart. It's a pretty interesting one. You can also change the color of a bar. Go to a visual. I guess you have an option called as. Okay, let's close everything. X axis, Y axis. Yeah, just go to a um, columns. Go to a columns and here you can change the color. You can give whatever color you want. Okay, so this is how you change a color of a bar. You can do one more thing if you want our data labels, you can just turn on, it will show you the total sales and you can also format those uh, data label values. Just click on those data labels and you have a concept called as a values, just increase that label values and make it bold. So this is how you create a colorful color, uh, you know, column chart. So I have one more thing, let's say for example, this, this is just giving you information regarding like, you know, which subcategory is giving uh, what, what amount of sales, right? So from this, you'll understand which subcategory is giving higher sales and elite sales. What if I want to analyze something like, you know, I want to see in which region, which subcategory is giving higher sales. So for that, what I do, I'll just drag, I'll just duplicate this page. I'll just duplicate this page. What I'm doing here, I'm just dragging a region into this particular, oh, sorry. Just drag a region into a legend. Just drag region into a legend. So what it, what you got, we call this particular graph as a stack column chart. You can see it's stacking, right? So stack column chart. It has divided an individual bar into four parts because, so we have four regions. So we call this as a stack column chart. Now you can tell, so we know that phones is giving higher sales and in which region phones is giving the higher sales. So in each region, the phones is giving higher sales that is one or one key, right? So this is how you do analysis with respect to a stack column chart. If you don't want a stacking, what if I want, you know, a, a bar itself? Since I have four regions, I want four vertical columns. I want four vertical columns or a bar. So how to get that? So for that, we have to use a cluster column chart. So I'll just duplicate this, duplicate up same thing. So instead of a stack column chart, just go with this cluster column chart, just select that. Oh, sorry. Select your graph and just select this clustered column chart. 
So instead of that, you know, stacking, you'll see uh, multiple bars. So each bar is representing uh, sales with respect to different region. And from this, you can analyze which region is giving you the highest sales regarding phones. So East is giving higher sales, right? So this is how you interpret. And this is all about, you know, column chart, start column chart. And also this is cluster column chart. I hope it's clear. Thank you. Happy learning.